Time for the heavy hitters outside our Beacon Hill studio. Cosmo Massero, O'Neill Associates, Peter Cadges of the late Boston Phoenix. Gentlemen, we got to start with Syria. You heard Congressman Capuano in there talking earlier about it. The question to you is simple, Cosmo. Does the president want Congress to authorize military action, or does he want him to save himself from military action and tell him no? I'm cynical, but not that cynical. No, I think he wants him to authorize. I think it is a disaster in the global community for us if they don't. I think it's a terrible signal to uh, to the Middle East and the global community, and I think he absolutely wants them to go ahead and authorize um, military action. And, and, and I think that, in my opinion, the only answer can be yes. They have to, absolutely. They have to what, then, is the follow-up question. They, well, have to, they have to authorize the plan he's laid out, which is getting um, pretty good re reviews from Senator McCain and Lindsey Graham and others. Well, Cosmo, you don't have your own fleet of jets, but France, which wants to strike, and Saudi Arabia, which is in favor, both have jets of their own. Why don't they do it? Why do we have to do it? Um, because we said we would. Um, just because the president said he would. It's because he um, said red line. That was the, that's the one that that's was a big mistake. I think there's there's more to this. I think that this is less about the use of gas, uh, which, after all, the United States condoned 20 years ago when Iraq was our ally and they used it against Iran. This this is more about um, taking a swipe at Iran, who supports Syria. Listen, there was an agreement over a year ago that both Russia, which is sponsors Syria, and the United States agreed to um, to sit down, have a ceasefire. But people on the rebel side that we're supporting were the ones that mixed it. I don't think military actions. The so Here's what I know. What kind of bizarre world are we living in where France is gung-ho to take military action? I mean, what happened here? It, 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 it's a little bit of a rock and a hard place because Congress is saying, look, or the Republicans are saying, if, 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 if this is going to happen, you need to take some kind of action to destabilize their military. Well, you know what? You can't really do that with missiles and jets. So. And nobody wants That's another. And nobody wants another war. So it's a very difficult situation that the president has created for himself by drawing that line of the sand. And and, and because of that, I still think Congress has to say yes, or else it's terrible for the well, country. Well, I, I agree. Quickly. I agree that he created this problem yeah. for himself. Uh, let's get a little closer to home. Right down there, City Hall. The race for the mayor's office is heating up. We're now getting some new ads. I want to show you guys the Mike Ross ad and get your take on it, Cosmo. We saw Rob Consalvo playing hoop. Now we got Mike Ross jogging through the neighborhoods. Yeah, you know, there's been a lot of good ads. I goofed on the Consalvo ad, but it was also really memorable. I think actually this is the best. A great message. Very memorable. Uh, quickly makes Mike Ross likable to people who may not know him. He, he drops the mayor's name, Mayor Menino's name, in, the, in an appropriate, useful fashion. I think it's a great ad. It's the right ad at the right time. For people who aren't paying attention, this ad will draw them in. Also, um, I love the way he's handing out position papers. I think they're hoping that this will help drive people to their website. And I must say that Mike Ross has a very impressive and detailed set of positions uh, on a whole range of It issues. is a good ad. It's a fun ad. Does it make him look mayoral? I don't know, but it does separate them and distinguish them. I like the ad. Lastly, Diane and I had finally conquers her goal of swimming from Cuba to Miami. Without a shock tank. Without a tank or Whatever a Whatever that is, shock tank. Uh, Peter, let's come to you. Have you ever had a personal Diane and I ad, I must conquer this moment? You were there. Both of you were there. Peterborough, New Hampshire, during the last presidential race, I finished the gut buster at the diner. That's Don't true. you remember? Not only did you finish it, you finished it going away and then had a muffin after. That was good by the you. The gut buster. Cosmo? I'm still scaling the Everest of life. I'm still at base camp. <laughs> but uh, you know what? Uh, my alma mater, UMass, let's give them a shout out for the big fruit cocktail triumph. That's enough triumph for me, but I'm still at base camp. You're onto the fruit I'm cocktail I'm in the pool. I'm still Much healthier than the gut buster. I'm still picking out my Sherpa. Peter Gadges, <laughs> Cosmo Macero, the heavy hitters. The Fox 25 News at 8 starts right now.